Olympic ladies champions chances in the ensuing worlds. Not since 1956 has the Olympic winner not won the world title. Now that promises positive results for champion Christy Yamaguchi, who has joined an elite skating club with her Alberville win. Here's Tom Hammond. There is no other place where grace and beauty on ice can be displayed in a brighter spotlight than the Winter Olympic Games. Figure skating, a forum of tradition and class where there is opportunity to enter an elite world, a world where only four American women have been. Sixteen years ago, Dorothy Hamill captured the gold, a lasting and vivid image. There's nothing like standing up there and hearing the Star Spangled Banner being played, and it's just, it's the most thrilling moment in sport of all. <laughs> Only a month ago, Christy Yamaguchi had the chance to share that thrill so few others know. As she recaptured for the U.S., the gold medal Dorothy Hamill won in 1976. It's kind of neat to think that I'm following in her footsteps because she was always a big idol of mine when I first started skating. Now Christy returns home to Fremont, California as the new American Idol of Winter. She's greeted by adoring fans and heads into a whirlwind of opportunities. A gold medal, a new life. It was a little weird to be back in the States for the first time after the Olympics. But seeing so many people that do recognize me now, it's kind of hard to believe. Across the country in Massachusetts, Christie's Olympic roommate, Nancy Kerrigan, brought her bronze medal home to proud friends and family. Stoneham even named a street after their new idol. Nancy also faces newborn stardom and celebrity. I'm in restaurants and people know who I am and ask for autographs and, you know, when I get up to leave, they, they're, the whole place drops their forks and knives and claps. I'm, and that's really different. An Olympic medal now fills Nancy's life, and her parents proudly shared her special moments. You need all this to be proud. You're proud anyway. Um, that's just extra. The next big moment in the lives of Nancy and Christy will come shortly after these world championships, when each must decide whether to turn professional or retain amateur status in order to compete at the 1994 Olympics. There have been reports from the Yamaguchi camp that perhaps uh, the number of endorsement opportunities were not suitable. There hadn't been enough, maybe because of Christie's Japanese heritage, the Japan bashing that's been going on in the U.S. But Christy Ness, Yamaguchi's coach, told me that certainly wasn't the case. There had been plenty of opportunities. Things had just been quiet because Christie wanted to concentrate on performing at these world championships. Well, Christie certainly seemed focused yesterday as she skated her original program. Here's the way Dick and Sandra called it. Thank you. Representing the Olympic United champion, 20-year-old Christy Yamaguchi, introduced to this welcoming crowd. Cheers from this sellout audience at the Coliseum in Oakland. Her first appearance back on USI since winning the Olympic gold. There's her father, a dentist, a Dr. Jim, brother Brett, sister Lori. Mother Carol nervously does not sit with the rest of the family. Yamaguchi trying to repeat last year's world championship.
One more jump to go, the double axel. The champion, Christy Yamaguchi, welcome home. And way up in the audience, there's her mother, Carol. She has to be happy with that performance. Although Carol was one of the few not screaming, it was like a warrior crowd, the way they saluted Yamaguchi, stretching before she comes on the ice with the other top six 